All right, good morning. It's Friday, August the 17th. Just got dropped off back at the trailhead by Eric, the uh, owner of uh, Sterling Inn in Caraton, Maine. Uh, a pretty tough hike today, up and over two big climbs. Um, looking to do almost 15 miles today. I'll try to be in Monson on Sunday. I'm going to take a zero there Monday. Head into the 100 mile wilderness Tuesday. So that's the plan. Just leaving Keratonk. Headed for uh, first big climb of the day. So, if I get any views, you'll get some views. So, I think it's 37 miles from Caratonk to Monson. Feel good. It's cool. Nice morning. So, I just challenged myself to hike the whole 30, 37 miles. I don't know how far I'll get, but. I decided I want to just see what I've got and uh, see if I can make it. Either I can or I can't, but I'm going to do the best I can. Uh, I just, I don't know, originally, I mean, Detail and I kind of scheduled out uh, about two 15 mile days and then a a Nero into Monson. And I just, I don't know at this point, I kind of feel like I'm too scheduled. I got out here to not be on a schedule. Kind of just go and do my thing. So, nice creek right here. It's my thing right now. Just put on some Almond Brothers. Headphones in and uh, walk for months. I'll let you know. I'll keep, I'll keep updating during the day where I'm at. Right now, it's still pretty early. I'm already like four and a half miles in from Caratunk, so got a good jump on it. Yeah, I thought I'd just share this section of trail we just look at the roots and rocks very easy to slip and fall very slow hiking it's just covered making pretty good time about six Six and a half miles in, climbing one of the big climbs I have for the day. This one was uh, right at 1,300 foot. I've got another one that's over a thousand, so get up and over this and down the other side. Do it again. All right, well, here's a view from Pleasant Pond Mountain. It's coming out of Keratonk. 
Nice view. I see a strange looking peak over there on the other side. It's kind of like a it's kind of like a cliff, straight down. All right, so the trail goes this way. I hear a bunch of uh, sounds like a bunch of Boy Scouts coming. So we'll turn this off. And get to hiking. I'm gonna do a little rock hop in here. Try not to get my boots wet. It's the plan anyway. <clears throat> well, that wasn't too bad. Just to update, we just crossed Mox, Moxie Bald, and that leaves me seven, uh, 20 miles to Monson. So I've done 17 since this morning. It's like right at 3 o'clock, so I figure I've got, I don't know, another maybe five hours of daylight. Hope we can get. I don't know, I ought to at least get five miles of Monson. I don't know if I may get further. I may keep going. Probably stop me a little bit. Just trying to uh, trying to push myself, see how far I can hike in a day. It just seemed like a good section between Caraton and Monson. Pretty cut and dry section. Got good water. Trail's really not been that bad. Had two huge climbs. It took a lot out of me, but that'd be all right. I'm not worried about that. I'm just gonna see see how far I can get. Right now, three o'clock, sitting at 17 miles. We'll see. It'll be my biggest day, no doubt about it. I just don't know how big it'll end up being. I did stop back there for about 15 minutes, ate blueberries. There's a lot of them up here, but not making no miles eating blueberries. And that's just, I, I'm not in a hurry. I just want to push myself a little bit, do something different. Come out here to run on no schedule every day. So, felt good today. Had a good, good area. Stretch it out and we'll see what happens. I'll update it again later. All right, so update where I'm at. I just crossed the uh, 21 mile mark. Still feel pretty strong. Uh, go stop up here. There's a water source coming up. It's supposed to be some good water. Plus I have to ford a uh, stream that I'm not gonna be able to rock hop. So I gotta take my shoes off. So my plan is to stop there, get water, stop, fix me something to eat, and then uh, keep pushing toward Monson. Yeah, I'm sitting at 21 miles right now. It's uh, it's about 4:45, I think. So I've had a pretty good day. It'd be nice if I could have got started. About 6.30 this morning. I really didn't get on the trail and get started until 7.45, so lost some time there. <clears throat> and it wasn't even in my original plans to push a big day, but 
after we got to the trailhead and I got hiking, I just felt like I had the energy to see what I could do today. So, detail didn't even have a clue. Uh, and I pushed on. I'll, I'll let him know either later tonight or in the morning, whatever. Depending on how far I get. I don't know how far I'm going to get. Right now I'm at 21. All right, see, quick update on my progress for the day. Right now I'm at 28.2 miles. It's uh, 7 p.m. I have 8.5, 8.5 left of Monson. So I think I probably got about 45 minutes, maybe an hour left of daylight. So it's like I will be hiking. We'll be hiking in the dark <coughs> with a headlamp, but I don't know. I kind of feel like I'm gonna make it. Sure hope so. Been nice. Nice uh, goal to set. Previous longest hike, longest day was uh, I think about a 23 mile day. I don't know, something more around that. And uh, this will be 13 or 14 miles more than my previous longest day if I make it. That's what I got going on. Hiking hard, trying to get there. Got one more creek, river that I have to ford. Really hoping to get there before dark. So I'll turn this off and get on it. All right, so I'm still, still headed to the trailhead at Monson. I just finally crossed the, the uh, river crossing. Right at dark, so I did make it while well, I can still see. Uh, so that leaves me from like 6.7, I think, to Monson Trailhead. Should be able to make that. It is raining, so it kind of adds another challenge to the day. 36.7 miles. Three river crossings, two 1,300 foot climbs, and now rain. So, I'm exhausted, but I think I'm going to make my goal. I don't like not making a goal. So, do the best I can. Six. About six and a half miles, I figure. All right, that's it for now. Good morning, so it's Saturday, August the 18th. And here's the trailhead I was trying to get to last night. And I did, I ended up making it. It was about 11.15 when I got here, I guess. So, come down that rock. Uh, bank over there went down down below the trail down here and pitched my tent last night got in it about probably about 10 30 by the time i got in the tent it poured rain all night long poured rain on me all evening hiking and then it got so foggy it was kind of hard to uh kind of hard to see the blazes but i made it i did make it I did a 36.7 mile day, by far my biggest day. Got my stuff packed up right now. Shawls, shawls from uh, Monson, Maine is on the way to pick me up. Ready to go in and get a hot shower and some food. And I gotta lay my stuff out tomorrow and let it dry. So, gonna take a couple of zeros get everything dried out, packed back up, and um, be ready to tackle the 100 mile wilderness and hopefully get finished soon. So, 
That's the plan. Uh, I won't be video in the next couple of days. I'll video just, I don't remember, maybe, I don't know, whenever I head out. Monday or Tuesday, whatever day it is. I'm going to take a few days. I'm, well, my feet got beat up last night in wet boots. I had to ford uh, three streams, rivers, creeks, whatever. I don't know what they call it up here. I would call them creeks, but they seem to think of rivers what I think of as a creek. So you know, I had to cross three of them. And my boots are soaked, my feet feet got blistered pretty good but it's not the first time they'll heal up and keep going toward Maine.